A lot of viewers got to know you from Lost. Uh, great character. This is the 10th year anniversary of the show premiering. It's it unbelievable. Is. I mean, what do you think about that show that resonates and still resonates? Uh, good, good chemistry, smart writing, and the writers having the daring to, to make it more than what it first appeared to be. I think season one of Lost looked like a kind of scripted survivor. It would have you know, l love affairs and competition and that sort of thing, and people would learn to survive. And, the, the, and there's a fair amount of drama built into that. I don't think anyone could have predicted the esoteric places that it would go in the seasons after that, that, it, that they would deal with so much about morality and redemption and time travel. And it had a, a little bit of something for everyone, I think. And a, a great international feeling cast. Mm -hmm. I think it's always played well around the globe in, in every nation. And the way the narrative worked, I think, was kind of original. That business of flashing backward, flashing forward, flashing sideways, trying to show uh, alternate dimensions or realities. That's, that's a, a hard thing to do, and it's a hard thing to ask your audience to subscribe to, and, and to yet along. they did. Right, they went right. along. And I, I think they probably lost some numbers of viewers for that reason, but the viewers they kept were passionate. Oh, yeah. I mean, rabid they, fans. People are still talking about that finale. I mean, Pe people are still getting acquainted with the show. I'm yeah. running into people on the street e every day who say, oh my God, I just saw the complete box set, and it's been how many years? So it, it's still out there. It's still sort of current with a lot of people. Which Did is interesting. Yeah. I mean, and today you can watch it at any moment. You could binge watch it on the weekends yeah. and that kind of thing. It makes it, true. It's a different experience than it yeah. was even when it launched 10 years ago. Uh, the fi finale, Did you? were you happy with the way it was resolved? I was. I, and I know I'm in the minority. Yeah. But that's all right. Maybe I'm closer to it than other people are. I was particularly happy with the way they ended Benjamin Linus's, well, they didn't end his life. They left him on a bench sitting, waiting on a bench outside the doors of the hereafter. And I thought, oh, that's, that's like something out of Beckett. That's just wonderful. Waiting for what? Uh, his redemption, his mirror redeemer, true love. What, whatever it is that he's supposed to have, because you can't apparently go through those doors alone. There must be another with you. And he's, I guess, waiting for his other. And you'll notice all the others. Uh, as in a, sh a Shakespearean comedy, e everyone leaves two by two huh. at the huh. end of the show. So I, I thought that was great. And I, I thought because Lost was told in an unusual way, it wasn't a, a straight line, the narrative wasn't. It was, seemed to be a story whose narrative exploded in all directions. So how are you going to, how are you going to wrap that up? And, and the only way I can think of, and the, and the way they ended up doing, was to bring everything back to the middle, to the beginning, re return to the beginning. And they did it. I thought with an emphasis on the spiritual rather than on some trickery of science fiction or point of view, all of that. So to me, it was, it was really satisfying. I was very proud of the writers.